Good morning, Pooter. <laughs> so we just woke up. I guess we're going to try to get our day going now. Because he won't let me go back to sleep. <laughs> he won't let me go back to sleep. Take it as a no. So we're going to go ahead and get our day going. I've got a couple things to do yesterday. And you guys can go along with us for the ride. You're just gonna keep waving. I'm okay, but you wave to your little heart's content. Um, so we're gonna do a couple things today. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get up now and I guess make a cup of coffee. It seems like a coffee kind of day. Okay, still waving at you guys. So let's let's try to shake off the sleeping care up here. You ready to get up? Get up. You're going. Oh, thank you. Much obliged. All right, guys. Let's go. So I just moved for like the first time since like I worked out and sat still. And that Pilates cardio thing has my entire body aching. The only thing that's not hurting, it's not aching, is my abs. And that's because it wasn't super big on abs. It was like a full body thing, but it was more of a leg and an arm. And from what I'm feeling back, your girl's sore, but I like it. Come on, Buddha. You trying to get down? Come on. You can do it. You can't wave and get down. I'm going to take the camera off of him because he's waving. Come on. Let's go. No. You ready? Come on. I got you. Come on. So... First thing we do in the morning, little man is hot on my trail, is wake up the house, is what I call it. My husband, oh, he wore his shoes that I got him, but the issue is he just left the trash from a moment before. Gotta love that about your man. <laughs> um, The first thing that I do is I call it waking up the house. My little one comes around with me. I'm turning the heat up a little bit because it's a little cool. I kind of cool the house down at night because... This one will not sleep if it's if it's warm, you guys. So first thing we do is wake up the house. Come on, Pooter, let's go wake up the let's go open the windows and stuff. You gonna come over open the windows with me? Here you go. I feel like my car is like the only one that's out there right now. Oh my arms. <clears throat> That's it. I give up on that because that hurts. All right. You need something to eat, bud? You hungry? Yeah. Come on, let's open the other room up. Yeah. You left your little toys on the floor, buddy. <clears throat> what you doing? You gotta pick up your toy. You gonna pick up your toy? He you left his toys over there on the floor. A couple of them. All right, come on, let's go get some breakfast and some coffee in us. Come on, come on, Tootie. Put it what? Come on. Are you sitting there tooting? Don't be tooting while you're standing around me, mister. Come on. Choop, choop. I don't know how much he loves that little swaddling suit thing, little swaddling outfit. He just kind of walks around in it. And you try to take it off of him, and he want to put it back on, walk around in it some more. It's like it keeps him warm all the time. Even if you give him feety pajamas, he prefers that thing. Where are you going? You putting your toys up? Good job. Thank you. Good job. He went to put his toy back in his ball pit. Good job, Buddha. Yeah, good job. What are you doing? 
What is it? Who's good? Y'all don't judge my feet, okay? They ain't been done since the last time I got them done, like two months ago. Huh? And I need to back you. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. With you guys, if I drink coffee in the morning, I usually don't eat. Because I, I don't know, the coffee sometimes fills me up. Most of the time it fills me up. So I, I don't usually eat when I when I have a cup of coffee in the morning. Um, it's just kind of to keep me kind of alert for him. Um, but I don't, I don't really get hungry for a while after I have that cup of coffee. Uh, where are you going? Back to the window. He likes sitting in the window, guys. Oh, he's touching the windowsill. But it's cold. Don't touch me. Oh. See what he's doing? He's going to touch the window. It's cold. No, don't touch that, buddy. No. Hey, cut it out. He's touching the humidity on the window and then coming and touching my leg. Buddy, hey. No. Stop it. Let me stop that. Stop it. I'm still sleeping. It's the dog. Oh, nope, he just looked up. Son likes making circles around the table. The squares, technically, because the table's a square, but he just walks in a circle around it. What are you doing? Are you making a poopy? I think he's making a poopy, guys. <laughs> he walks when he poops, too, so he'll walk around, and then you just kind of see him stop, and he'll squat down, and then he'll... Stand back up and start walking again. And the dog has joined us in the living room. As I sat down and everything hurt. I'm going to do it again today. I like feeling like I've accomplished something. <laughs> it's been a while since I worked out and it just made my everything sore. My arms, my chest, my legs, my butt. Kai, you ripped the window. He just likes over there messing with the water on the window and going to touch and stuff. And my windows, I don't know, I told them when we moved in, but puddles kind of form in the window sills from like the humidity and things like that. And it just makes the window seal bubble in all the rooms. It's not just this one. In our bedroom, it looked kind of like moldy. So I think I'm going to get some bleach or something and go to work in there but yeah it does that in all the windows and in the mornings he just goes and touches it i don't know why that's like he's doing it right now cry you away from that window <laughs> he's gonna wave again Say hello hello so now i'm away from my coffee so i can feed him I usually get my coffee first. That way I can focus on feeding him. Because it'd be a fight sometimes to feed him. He want to still play. But he's hungry. So he wants to take off running all the time. And you got to chase him down. And you got to sit him back down. And it's just lunch. So we are working on getting him to sit still while he eats. Um, today I think I'm going to try to. I want to do something different food wise tonight. I'm thinking about like um, a lettuce wrap type of thing. Now I'm getting pimples on my look at that. I hate that. I hate getting pimples like right there on my lip line. But um I think I'm probably doing some sort of a lettuce wrap. I'm not sure what to put in it though. So we're gonna try to figure that out. If you have like a lettuce wrap or um healthier meal option ideas, leave them in the comments below. Cause I'm trying to try different things. We eat pretty much the same things on a loop, but in a variety of ways. Um, so I want to add like a lettuce wrap type of thing to our food. Um, and right now I'm thinking of something with beef, but most of the ones I see are like chicken, but we've been eating a lot of chicken. So I want to eat, do something different. Um, so I'm, I may do like a, a fajita type of thing, but with a lettuce wrap. My husband's doing like more of a keto diet type of thing. He started getting back into the gym as well. Oh, she must be moving the table or something like that. She ain't playing. Um, but he doesn't eat much like bread. So we're trying to go from like uh, tortillas and things like that. I might eat a tortilla. I don't know if he will. 
I would make go for like a healthier tortilla option if they have them, you know, like a wheat one or something that's not so thick and bready. Um, and then do that instead of the lettuce. But I'm not sure yet. So that's why. Just just let me know, guys, what you guys try. You want to say hi again? Okay. You still saying hi? So I'm going to get my workout in today. Hopefully I'm going to do a little bit of planning. Um, hopefully I can get some um, some of my Valentine's decor done. Because, um, you know, Valentine's is like fashionably, like quickly, swiftly approaching. Um, and I also need to get a couple grocery items um, for dinner later. So we're going to be probably on the move a good chunk of the day. Um, I might go see Kader for lunch. My husband for lunch. Um, not sure yet. Kind of depends on little one as well. Um, because we've been getting him up earlier, so he's been getting both of his naps in. Um, and he's getting more use or accustomed to sleeping at night. Um, at this point, he wakes up normally maybe once, which is great because I can finally sleep. My eyes don't look so tired. See, mm -hmm. That's what happens when you can sleep a little bit. Um, and he's actually been, um, over the last week, sleeping through the night. I'm going to start putting him in his own room here in a little bit. As soon as we get him there where he'll sleep straight through, we'll put him down in his room um, so he gets used to sleeping in there. I'll probably find something that will play through the night for him, like the baby lullabies or um, something that plays on a loop, um, cartoon educational-wise. So it's not pitch black in his room or something like that. Because he's used to being in there with us, and we usually have cartoons going for him. So if he opens his eyes, it's not so dark that he's scared. Um, but he's getting better sleeping. I think he is trying to poop because he's just walking around, pausing. You know, let me get up off this couch. It's going to take a little bit out of me, I'm sure, because I, I'm already, yeah, I should have saw me sit down. Oh, my Lord. I ain't even using my leg. I just flopped. Once I started to sit down, I feel like I could feel everything ache. I just flopped. I just flopped all down into the seat. I didn't even try to control my legs. Um, so <laughs> it's real over here right now. So let me go ahead and get up and uh, get my coffee. My son was looking at me like, Mom, come on, let's go sit down somewhere. Are you playing with the recliner, buddy? Come on, let's go eat. So, basically, in the mornings, we put on Sesame Street. He likes Sesame Street. He likes Dinosaur Train. He likes Pig plus Cat. So, I turn on something like this when it's time for us for him to sit down to eat. So... We're going to do this, him eating on a time lapse. He usually eats pretty fast now. Um, especially if you've got like Sesame Street or Clifford or something on. He'll eat really quickly. Um, but we've been feeding him these lately. It's a beech nut. Um, and they make, I guess, more natural stuff. I'm not really sure. Um, he likes them. Uh, we just switched. Well, he was doing like Gerber, but he really doesn't really care for any of the Gerber stuff anymore. And we have found that this stuff actually tastes more natural, um, especially these mangoes. Um, and his dad is from a place where he has a mango tree in his backyard. So he knows what mangoes are supposed to taste like, I guess, without any processing or anything. And these taste like real mangoes. So not extra sugars and things like that. So we've got little man eating it lately. He seems to like them a lot. So... This is what we've been feeding him. Um, not just the um, 
the food, but we've been giving him also like little, they have little squeezy pouches when you're on the go and little snacks and things like that. Um, but it's been really big for us to get him more away from milk. He likes milk and that's kind of his comfort. Um, and when he got sick, he didn't really want to eat regular food like at all. I don't know if he was having flashbacks of throwing it up or what, but he didn't want to eat regular food. So he gravitated more towards milk. Um, and so the milk was causing him different digestive issues, you know, because if you give baby too much dairy, they can become constipated. Um, so we've been getting him away from milk. Um, he can still have milk and bottles and mostly just milk during the day because um, he doesn't care for the sippy cups yet either. He can he drink the water from the CP cups, but if he's going to have milk, he prefers it in the bottle still. Um, Kyle, what are you doing, baby? You messing with my tripod, but... Mm -hmm -hmm. So, um, he's getting to where he's having maybe one one thing of milk a day. Um, and that's kind of how we want to keep it for now until he gets a little bit older. And then if he wants to drink a little more milk, that's fine. But for right now, um, so we're going to get him eating right now. Um, he'll eat many more times during the day. His doctors want us to just feed him because he eats so much because his body's growing so fast. Um, so I don't know what it is. Maybe he's burning through more food, uh, but they just say feed him. So we're going to get him fed. And like most babies, he loves Elmo, guys. Elmo, Cookie Monster, Rosalita, and Abby are his favorites. <laughs> He stands right there. I don't know why he gets so close. He stands right there. So I'm going to put him up here beside me and go ahead and get him eating. Okay, guys, so now breakfast is out the way. He just finished his mangoes and he had um, a little bit of water. He likes water more than anything, guys. Not even. Okay, he likes water more than juice, water more than milk. He just loves water. Yeah, so he just had his mangoes. He just had a little bit of water. So we're going to sit here for a bit, um, watch Sesame Street for a while, um, probably play a bit and get him down for his first nap. I'm trying to get him more adjusted to a schedule. So we can get him down for his first nap, Kai. Sit down, Puda. He's trying to get close to the camera so he can see. <laughs> Look here, needy sores, Rex. What is it? <laughs> um, and then we're going to figure out what exactly we're going to be doing for the day. Kind of like our schedule, where we're going to be headed to, how long we're going to be there for. Because after he's out all day, he gets really tuckered out. So I like to make a plan before I get out, not just for... Um, to know where we're going and have a time limit, but also for safety. Uh, kind of let people know where I am and things like that. Um, Kai, stop it. So we're going to sit down and watch Sesame Street for a bit. Make some plans and some plots. And uh, be back when we're getting ready to go. All right. Bye-bye. It's 9. And he's napping. Okay, so we'll get a move on. Once he wakes up from his nap. 
Okay, guys, so now we're up and we're gonna get ready to move out. Um, get some stuff taken care of. Yeah, I look ridiculous. Okay, because I did my thing. Okay, uh, his nose is peeling. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna get up and get a move on. A little man is up and about. He's probably gonna be hungry again in a second, so I have to feed him. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed him now, and then we're gonna get ready to go. Okay, guys, so I'm about to put my room together before we go. I don't like leaving my house kind of disturbed looking. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bed together, get him dressed, and then we're going to go to the grocery store.
going to go outside. All right, guys. Doggy is secured. TV's on so he doesn't feel like he's by himself because he, he hates that. The reason why he's in there is because he doesn't know how to act when we leave. He'll climb up on the tables. He'll knock stuff off. He'll find food that he's not supposed to eat. He'll knock trash cans over. And he doesn't do that all the time. He only does it, it seems like, when we give him a little too much freedom. So he's in the kennel. Okay, guys, we're in the car. We're going to head to my local Crozier um, and get something, hopefully some beef. I think I want beef instead of chicken. We're eating a lot of chicken lately. Hey, boo. What you doing? You look so uncomfortable. Let me jigger your seat thing real fast. Okay, guys, so we're back from um, the grocery store, Dollar Tree, and I picked something up for us to eat. Um, I have not eaten today. This is what happens most days. I, I don't have much of an appetite. Um, not since I had him. My appetite hadn't, like, fully come back yet, I guess you can say. I nibble most days, but, um, Kai, leave it alone. I nibble most days, um, but I don't eat a whole lot of food. If that makes any sense. Um, so I picked something up. It is 2.45. And this is my first time eating anything. All I've had today was a cup of coffee. So, I'm going to go ahead and eat now. And then um, start getting things cleaned up and preparing dinner. So that I just can pop it in the oven and things and get it taken care of real fast. Because I don't like want to stand in there for forever. I will get my workout in today. I'm going to do it a little bit later on because I have not eaten. I do not suggest working out when you haven't eaten anything or on an empty stomach. Especially if you're going to do like cardio or things like that. It's, it's just not good. So, I'll be back in a minute. Oh, yeah, I was going to vlog when I was out in the store and stuff like that. But it's like my sister has radar. I don't know. She calls every time I go to the grocery store. And then we just end up talking to her when I'm in there. My bad. Okay, guys. So, I just did my, um, my ab workout for today. I'm going to try to alternate and maybe total body one day or arms and legs one day and then do abs on a different day until I get my conditioning up to a level. Just wait my eye. My conditioning up to a level where I can do a chunk of stuff on one day because right now I can't. So abs done for today. I did the Chloe Ting ab challenge. It's about 10 minutes long um, and it's like a good ab workout so I would suggest it if you're looking for a, a quick little ab workout and um yeah so about now it's time to get some stuff ready to get cooked see you guys in a bit okay guys so at this point I have already started dinner it's hot so I'm sweaty um <laughs> look at him he's hungry so we're gonna get him a snack it's gonna be this yogurt this is the one that his doctor told us would be best for him so this is when we feed him um, and right now he's cranky because he's hungry. He woke up from his second nap about an hour and a half ago. So it's kind of common that he's hungry right now. So I'm going to go ahead and feed him because he's not himself when he's hungry. All right, Kai. Oh, see, he's not himself when he's hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and feed him. Uh, and I'll be right back.
that Cheeto puff. It's good. Yeah. You about to eat it all. You didn't even give me a bite. You gonna run off? Yes, Mo. You know you ain't supposed to be in there. So you're bad. Yeah. He was crying until his daddy gave him a Cheeto. He need another Cheeto, babe. He's coming. He's coming for the Cheeto puff. Let me get my husband clothes everywhere. Gizmo. He can't go in the kitchen, you guys, because he eats everything that falls on the floor, even if it's paper. No, Kai, that's the puppies. No. All right, guys, so I've already got my food going. The steaks are in the oven. I have little potatoes. Um, probably going to do green beans, but little man likes the mashed potatoes, and when he eats them, he usually sleeps through the night. He has no issues sleeping, so I'm going to do the potatoes tonight as well. Um, Gizmo. The dog just follows you around if there's food. We don't give him regular food anymore because he don't know how to act. He'll stop eating his food because he wants your food all the time, and then he just be starving himself, so we don't give him regular food anymore, guys. Um, I was going to do some laundry tonight, but somebody took over the laundry machine of the washer and the dryer. So I can't do laundry yet. So I have to wait till it's probably in the morning. You want to say hey again, Pooter? Little one's eating Cheeto puffs, so he's as happy as he can be. Because as I told you guys earlier, he's done himself when he's hungry. Okay. He kind of turned the phone back to himself while his hand was reached out like that. So we're going to watch a little basketball. A little Big 12. A little Texas Tech. Red Raider. Uh, and finish off food and probably call it a night after that. Uh, as I said earlier, I did do my workout for today. Make sure you guys get your workout in if that's one of your goals. You just stick to it. Even if it's small, you stick to that thing, guys. Alrighty. So, see you guys in my next video. Uh, he done hit his knee. See you guys in my next video. Hi, guys. <laughs>